So here we have a living fossil, Metasequoia glyptostraboides, or Don Redwood in the Cupressaceae family. So this is a very interesting species. At one time, it was actually thought to be extinct. So back in about 1941, some fossils were found in Japan of the species, and it was actually thought to be completely extinct. Um, around the same time, fossils were also found in the Columbia River Gorge area. Then in 1944, some live trees were actually found in a very remote area of China. And seeds from that grove were actually planted here at Hoi Arboretum. And in 1952, <clears throat> this tree actually produced cones for the first time in centuries. So really, really interesting tree. It's actually the state fossil of Oregon. In terms of its overall form, it usually grows to anywhere between about 60 to 100 feet, but in its native habitat, especially in China, it can grow up to about 165 feet tall. The needles are really, really interesting. Um, so for the Cupressaceae family, we usually think of needles primarily being persistent, but these are actually deciduous. So it's really, really important. They're deciduous and they will turn this really beautiful shade of sort of sunset apricots and golds in the fall. The needles in spring to summer are bright green above and then kind of a gray green below. And they have overall a slightly feathery appearance to them. Um, they're two ranked and they're born in opposite pairs. So each of these are born opposite each other. You can see opposite here and then opposite again. The cones are anywhere from about three quarters to an inch in length, and they are dark brown with fairly blunt scales. So the bark is fibrous, reddish brown, and kind of stringy. But again, really unique tree, the fact that at one time we thought it was extinct. We found fossils in Japan and the Columbia River Gorge, and now we have these beautiful trees planted here at Hoyt Arboretum.